Welcome to a new Team CGC 9.8 video. So a uh, bit of a different video today, but I think even with CGC 9.8 comics, it's uh, really important to buy the book and not the grade. So uh, we can get into a bit of what I mean by that. And uh, have a look here at a Predator number one in the CGC 9.8. I saw this one up on eBay. And it might still be up on eBay, I'm not too sure. But right away, at a quick glance, I was like, wow, two obvious spine ticks on this 9.8. So this is a good example of like, you know, buy the book, not the grade. And personally for me, I would not purchase this CGC 9.8 if I was, you know, in the market for a Predator number one. And you know, a big takeaway of this video for sure would just be that don't just assume a CGC 9.8 is a perfect comic book. And then you could just get right into the negotiating kind of thing for the price without considering some of the slight differences of the book. So we'll get into um, some of the slight differences here. I got four kind of different categories of slight differences in CGC 9.8s and all comic books, comic books uh, to consider. It made me think of this whole conversation though of a, a Captain America number six last year that I almost bought. It was about mid last year. Um, first full appearance of Winter Soldier. This one, this book's kind of getting hot right now. But uh, there was a couple pictures where the unobvious spine tick was kind of like annoying me, so I didn't pull the trigger on that. And that's just one example of like a book where I didn't buy. And there's on the other end of things too, like a book has great centering, awesome colors. I'm like sometimes I'll buy a 9.8 almost because of that. So you definitely want to consider some of these, uh, uh, you know, small differences in CGC 9.8 comics. So a uh, first category of differences I think is centering. I got a couple weirdly centered 9.8s to be honest. Here's a, a Hulk 341 of mine in the 9.8. It's actually got a good spine centering. Not too bad, it's not perfect, but I like kind of the spine centering over here. But if you notice, uh, pages sticking out the side, sort of at the top, and it's got a bit of a weird manufacturing defect because when you look up close at this one, it, it's a 9.8. It's the, the spine's flawless, the colors are nice, there's pages like really flat and like lush, uh, you know, white pages. So. It's kind of a 9.8 with one of those weird uh, manufacturing defects. And this was the first Hulk 340 I bought and uh, was a bit naive to some of the differences at that time because I didn't really notice them, to be honest. When I bought this one, I was kind of a noob, so shows some weird centering. But I've come to really like this book, to be honest. It, it is actually has nice colors and a decent centering on the spine. And, you know, some of the little differences for me don't really mean as much anymore. They're just kind of different ways that each one is different, sort of, and unique, some of the comics. Uh, so um, a bit of an odd centering, so a different centering here when we're talking about slight differences. Uh, one of my Silver Surfer 44s, I got two of these, this is just a sweet one I think. Uh, so this one shows where the cover, if we go to the back, uh, the front cover kind of shows uh, right along the spine on the back cover, so it's got to roll over the front cover to the back cover. Sometimes you see the back cover rolled over to the front and you'll get like a little, you know, a clear white line or black line depending on what the back cover is. Uh, so those, those are just the kind of some of the centering things to um, keep an eye out for. I really like when the back cover is sort of semi curled around to the front cover and then you see the full front cover pretty much with you know kind of a and ideally it's like perfectly centered along the spine too but uh, yeah Silver Surfer 44 with that a bit of an odd centering where the front cover curls around to the back. Uh, second thing of slight differences to look out for in 9.8 comics are uh, color colors. So a lot of times you'll see like a 9.4 with amazing colors and you're just like wow that's great. Some 9.8s a little bit dimmer colors but it's you know no spine ticks pretty much a perfect book so in, in 9.8s, you see collectors paying up for a great looking 9.8 with nice centering and perfect colors as well. Colors is a, is a pretty big thing for 9.8 collecting. So, um, and it's, yeah, it's definitely normal to see like a 9.2 or a 9.4 with, uh, you know, great colors. Um, so it's even, you want to buy the book, not the grade, even when you're buying in lower grades as well. Uh, so third category here, spine and corner wear. I'll put them kind of in the same, that's more of the obvious differences that a lot of people think. Sometimes there's an obvious spine tick or some of the corners are a bit weird. Some of my 9.8s, they have like corners where, I think it's a manufacturing defect where there's almost a little piece of paper, uh, you know, uh, teared off where it's pretty much a perfect corner but it's that small little tear in the corner. Still a 9.8, I'm pretty sure that's a manufacturing defect and it's so small you have to get really close. So it kind of passes that 
I think all 9.8s need to pass that casual glance where you look at it and you're like, that's pretty much a perfect comic. Like, and then when you get closer, maybe you'll go, oh yeah, it's that little manufacturing defect of the slight tear on that one corner. Uh, so spine and corner wear. Fourth one in 9.8s, uh, you want to think about, you know, does it lie flat? Uh, obviously, it'll say white pages or not, but even over time, some white pages, if they're not stored correctly, they'll turn into non-white pages. Um, you know, sometimes in comic books, I sort of prefer that sort of normal wave where maybe there's like a slight wave in the book. For me, that basically shows it's unpressed. So it's like a, just an unpressed gem beauty right from, you know, someone probably took really good care of it. And those are the best 9.8s for me. Because a pressed, uh, just to mention, uh, you know, I noticed the pressing. You can notice it. There's that one little crease down the spine that's like the perfect crease down the spine. So, you know, for me, a pressed book maybe just isn't as good as a, you know, perfectly kept CGC 9.8 unpressed. Um, but it's a, that's such a slight difference. Uh, but I, I do notice the presses now on my books where I, I can tell which ones are pressed and which ones not because there's just that slight little press line usually down the spine. And uh, yeah, the graders don't pay attention to that. That's a, apparently not a, that can still be a 9.8. And yeah, I'm not a big believer of pressing for 9.8. Maybe pressing for like a six, you know, a CGC six to bump it up to an eight. Yeah, that might work, but. Um, okay, well, the four categories there of some slight differences, and I think the big takeaway from the video, though, is don't just assume a 9.8 is perfect. You want to consider those uh, slight differences, and uh, yeah, definitely buy the book, not the grade. You, you'd think, like, with 9.8s, you don't have to do that because it's going to be in such great shape. It's a 9.8. They're so hard to get, but humans are involved in the process, so you still have to be diligent on uh, some of the differences. All right, team, we'll leave it at that, though. Thanks so much for watching, yeah, and I'll uh, see you on the next one.